Hey guys, it's me, Freddy Pop Collector, and today's gonna be part 3 to my FNAF model comparison series. I've done two previous parts, this is just a small series where I go over the differences between Scott, Illumixes, and Steelbull's models. Today we have six models to compare, so let's just jump right into it. Up first is Mangle. Mangle has three different models to compare, one from Scott, one from Steel Wool, and one from Illumix. They all generally look the same, but there are a few small differences. For instance, the original Mangle has a hot pink bow tie, so does the AR one, but the VR model has a light pink bow tie. Another small difference is that Scott's Mangle only has two legs, but Illumix's and FNAF VR's model have three. A few smaller details I noticed is that on the FNAF VR model, the endo eye has pink eyelids. Also, Steel Wool's model and Illumix's model have a tail, whereas Scott's model does not. My ranking would go number Number one, Scott's model, then Illumix's model, and then Steel Wool's model. Since Phantom Bloom Boy hasn't been in FNAF AR yet, we only have two models to compare, one from Scott Cawthon and one from Steel Wool. Fun fact, did you know in FNAF Help Wanted, Phantom Bloom Boy's legs are cut off? I have no idea why, but in the files, he has no legs. Phantom Bloom Boy has been a very minor character throughout the series, and FNAF 3 was his biggest role, but in Ultimate Custom Night in FNAF World, he was more of a background character. As far as the models go... Come on, guys. It's really obvious. Scott's model blows Steel Wool's out of the water. The withering and decay on Scott's model looks a lot more natural. Steel Wool's just looks like they swapped the colors and put some dirt smudges, but Scott's actually looks like it's been through fire and withered and just... Overall, Scott's model looks a lot more natural and a lot less cartoonish, so my ranking would be number one Scott's, then Steel Wool's. Next up is Endo02. He has had two in-game appearances in FNAF 2 and in FNAF VR. In FNAF 2 and in FNAF VR, he's just a background easter egg character. In FNAF VR, you have to reset a couple times to get him. He's one of the most common easter eggs in FNAF VR. I've actually never gotten his easter egg in FNAF 2. I'm pretty sure it's pretty hard to get. As of now, there is no Illumix model, so we only have two models to compare. He is rumored to be in FNAF VR pretty soon, but I don't know how true that is. Of all the models Steel Wool's made so far, I'd say this one's the most accurate to Scott's original. The differences are very, very small. The only ones that I can really see is the texture. For one, the eyes are a little bit different, and the overall body torso shape is a little bit different. The mouth also has a little bit of a different shape to it as well. As far as which one is better, I'm actually not sure. I'll let you guys decide in the comments. Because they're so similar, I can't really decide. I guess for now, I'll just say Scott's model because it came first. Also, one more cool fact before we move on to the next character. Ando 2 actually can't be found in the FNAF VR gallery, which I've always found odd along with Biddy Bab and the coffee mug. Nightmare Chica has had three in-game appearances, FNAF 4, Ultimate Custom Night, and FNAF VR. Of Nightmare Chica's main three in-game appearances, the only one that really had any significance was FNAF 4, and VR and Ultimate Custom Night, she was more of an add-on character. Like most of the models on this list, she only has two models to compare, this is mostly because she hasn't been in AR yet, but I'm pretty sure she will be really soon. The first and most obvious difference is the third row of teeth. In FNAF VR and in Ultimate Custom Night, they dropped the third row for some reason. What's always made Nightmare Chica memorable for me is that third row of teeth, but for some reason Scott decided to drop it in Ultimate Custom Night and it hasn't returned since. Besides that one small little detail, all the withering, the colors, the texture, everything else looks really, really good, so my ranking would go number one Scott, just literally because it came first, no other reason, and then Steel Wolves. The FNAF 1 Foxy has three different models to compare, one from Illumix, one from Scott, and one from Steel Wool. Like a lot of the model comparisons we've done with three different models, the VR and FNAF 1 models are pretty similar. The outlier here is usually Illumix because their models are a lot more shiny. The biggest difference between the three Foxy models is honestly the accent colors. The VR model's accent colors are more of a light tan, whereas the original model is more of a dark tan, and AR's model is more of a salmon color. Besides this, the withering and endoskeleton are basically the same throughout all the iterations, so my rank will go number one AR's model, then Scott's model, and then the VR model. Nightmare Fredbear is one of my most anticipated characters for FNAF AR, but as of now, we only have two models to compare. They both look pretty good, but my main problem with the FNAF VR model is the lack of texture. What I mean by this is when you look at Scott's model, you can clearly see that there's a bunch of bumps and texture all over the fabric, and it gives a lot more realistic feeling to it. The eyes on Steel Wool's model also don't look that good. They don't have any pupils like the original. Besides that, though, all the smaller details are there. The withering, the buttons being different colors, the stripe on the hat, everything else looks pretty 
good. So my ranking will go number one, Scott's model, and then Steel Wool's model. The only reason why Scott's ranks higher than Steel Wool's is simply because of the texture for one, and to me personally, I find it way more intimidating. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Like and subscribe if you're new. If you guys want a part four, let me know in the comments. I'm not sure if I should do one yet. Let me know in the comments if you guys want a part four and which characters you'd like to see in a part four. There's a few interesting characters I haven't touched yet, like Withered Freddy and Nightmare Young, so just let me know down in the comments. Also, thank you guys so much for 21,000 subscribers. We're already almost at 22,000. I've been working on a special video for a while to celebrate 20k, so just be looking forward to that. It's coming along pretty good. It's just gonna need a few more weeks. There's no doubt in my mind that this will definitely be the best video on my channel. So thank you guys so much for watching again. Thank you for almost 22,000 subscribers again, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.